see no solution for African people except some form of Pan-Africanism and African nationalism. I think Africans throughout the whole world will have to come together as African people and march into the arena of power in the world and speak with a single voice. I see no other solution. Because for the last 500 years, this world has been ruled by European nationalism. And Europe has had one concept. That concept is European dominance. It would be European dominance under the name of communism or socialism, under the name of fascism or capitalism, under the name of Christianity, but it, European dominance. And we have to realize that we live in a European-conceived intellectual universe. I'm not advocating this for African people. I'm saying that African people need to claim all those things in the world that belongs to them and that we can do this without destroying another people's culture, destroying another people's country, or taking a people out of history. We can do this without doing to other people all the cruel and tragic things that has been done to us. If you show the African contribution to the history of the world, including Egypt, Ethiopia, Cush, and the biblical lands that you meet. That's a contradiction. You cannot say an inferior people created this. You cannot say an inferior people created the pyramids. You cannot say an inferior people created the Niger Valley civilization. You cannot say an inferior people uh, brought into being independent states one after the other for over a thousand years before the slave trade. You cannot point out the two Africans, Zayd bin Hadid and Bilal, who helped to create Islam. You point all of this out, then you have to withdraw this nonsense about people being inferior. Then you have to... Say so that if they are, have the same mentality, good and bad, if they played every role in human history from saint to bathroom, like every other people, then I do not have the right to deny them entry to a medical school, to a school of engineering, to a school of oceanography. And I do not ha have the right to tell them that their mind is different from any other mind. That I must release their aspirations and let them come to the marketplace of ideas and do their purchasing and do their solicitation to control the world. Then he's your equal. If you accept him as your equal, you cannot in turn oppress him unless you would also oppress, oppress your mother and your sister and your father.